Hey everybody, Chris here. You join off road. Two apologies. One, sorry, I haven't been any videos for a few weeks. We've been hung up on little items that have delayed some builds. And so this week we're actually going to be knocking out three. We got three deliveries this week. Second apology is my voice. I'm just kind of almost over a little head cold. So I sound terrible and I apologize. So this is a brand new coach house. It's an E450 2023 coach house. They're an RV manufacturer, actually down in Florida, and they do a really nice job on these RVs. Higher end of the Class C spectrum, or Class B, if you want to call it that, or B+. Beautiful rigs, pointed very well, and now even better with our six inch kit. So, standard stuff for this guy. Six inch kit on 33s, custom spec springs front and rear. Went with the Ridge Grappler, on this one a little more aggressive than the um recon grapple that we've been running on these rvs 285 70 17 up front on an american racing black baja wheel customer upgraded to the reservoir shocks in the front so we've got some fox 2.0 resis up front i think i already mentioned custom spec springs front and rear i just had to rinse off the bumper i rinsed it off this morning then i drove down the interstate and some truck was super dusty in front of me and covered everything in dust, which is awesome. So we swapped out the grill for a black Ford grill with our smoked amber LED running lights buried in there. We've got a loaded up FB002 front bumper. This is our, our all aluminum bumper loaded with Baja Design lights, worn VR12S winch, front receiver, got the Anderson plug, OBA port, Agency 6, u joint Off-Road uh, Fairlead, and a Factor 55 Thimble. Uh, this rig does have the updated dash with the uh, adaptive cruise control. So we relocate the cruise control box there, and everything works the way it's supposed to. <clears throat> Up front, we've got a Stage 3 front axle. Dana 60, 456 gears, Detroit True Track, 14 half inch diameter rotors, uh, 35 spine stub shafts. Serviceable wheel bearings, Dynatrack knuckles, hubs, and spindles. All of that heavy-duty, serviceable, reliable, bad dude stuff. So this is a 7.3 Godzilla. It's got a 6R140 behind that with a flange 1128FT case bolted to that. 1350CV drive shafts, front and rear. The rear is a, a big boy. You have to go up to a four-inch shaft when you get them this long. It's right on the edge of what you can do with a one-piece shaft. There you can see the T-case and our exhaust mods. We reroute the exhaust, the front Y basically, from the from the engine to the cat to make room for the T-case and the front drive shaft. Ugh, sorry. Out back, we've got our machine 17-inch Dodge wheels, powder-coated to match the American Racing wheels. That's a recent switch. We went to this more of a gloss powder to match the American Racings. Out back, we've got a Helwig rear sway bar with our direct mount links, Fox 2.0 shocks, and 255-80-17 Nitto Ridge Grapplers. So customer had mocked up a rear bumper out of wood and actually did a really good job. Um, you can see it over there. He had mocked up what he wanted to see for the rear bumper. So we basically dissected his bumper and then made it out of steel. So it turned out really cool. He had these storage boxes he wanted on the back, these little bumperettes, and the spare mount. I think this hole here, he, he uh, has an inflatable boat that stores in there. So it turned out really nice. Still got full access in here for a poop tube and the receiver turned out good so custom bumpers we've been doing a lot of them and this is our latest spare on the back um i get often i get questions often about the different size wheels and tires in the front and the back obviously the overall diameter is the same you got to have that for full drive function in case, and the spare is a rear. So in case of a catastrophic tire failure up front, tire comes apart, you can run the spare up front. You just run it backwards. So poked out, no problem. Get you where you need to go. And catastrophic tire failures like that are pretty uncommon. 
I didn't mention the S-Pod. Got an S-Pod controlling all the lights and the onboard air. And that's it. So I'm gonna keep getting mileage on this thing until it goes home in a few days. Super nice, beautiful rig. Drives amazing. And I think they're gonna enjoy it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or shoot me an email, Chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Check out our RV page and the rest of our website. Got some new kits coming actually, working on that this week too. So I haven't put the 7.3 gas or kits on the website yet because there's been some variables and most of them are all RVs and everyone's a bit different. But um, I created some of those kits last night and we're gonna put them on the website. So at least give you guys an idea if you wanna DIY one of these 7.3 Godzilla E350s or 450s. So thanks for watching as always. And uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already. Have a great day.